Okay, we're good. Who's introing? Uh, me. Do the intro. Hello, and welcome back to the Lab Mouse Podcast. It is me, quite as always, joined by our hosts, Wild Spartans. Hi. And FPS Diesel. I'm, I'm coming the asshole. The... Oh, fuck you. <laughs> How dare what? you? What? What? I was making what did we a miss? joke and quite Yeah, off. then you cut him off. How dare Oof. You? It wasn't funny anyway. Sorry. But uh, I'm coming to you from the comfort of my bed, because um, me and Brandon are on opposite sides of the house recording this podcast. It's great. Yeah, and, and, if, and if he was next to me at the table, it would leak through the audio. Both of you, you sound have... fucking horrendous right now, by the way. I, just... <laughs> my blue I sound snowballs. that bad? My blue snowball sitting next to me on the bed. I sound that bad? I mean, you both sound sick, but you also oh, okay. both sound like Dookie. Well, is mine like Dookie. is it is mine like reverb and shit? No, it's not like that bad, but I can tell you're in a room with a high ceiling. Yeah, and it's also <laughs> like not enough shit in it. Yeah. So reverb. Yeah, and then I'm using my wireless headphones because I I lost the wire to them, and you all sound like shit to me. Because well, you know. I'm using thirty dollar <laughs> earbuds. It's great. Yeah, I lost the wire, and then the fucking chairs like. <laughs> they're just they're just not sturdy. They fucking back, squeak all the time. My back is gonna fucking give out. Okay, let's fucking get this going with the first topic here uh, to us discuss on the sick podcast. Man, Diesel, you you're usually the one that's fucking sick or something. Well, it's usually not us. I, do I sound sick? I don't feel sick at all. I don't, you don't I sound don't sick. I, it just sounds like it's stuffy, but it might be the microphone. I, I I'm I mean, my nose is a little stuffed, but I'm not like sick or anything. I don't think. Hmm. I definitely sound stuffy. I can guarantee that. Oh, he does. <laughs> he does. You sound like you got a bunch of subreddit stuck up your nose. <laughs> I do. I fucking do. You're entirely correct. You know what's also stuck up my nose? Fucking Aquaman, because that movie was fucking boogers, dude. Man, that was, bad movie. That was that was what we call a reach, ladies and gentlemen. That was, no, that was fucking good. Fuck you, bro. It was boogers, dude. That, that movie sucked. <laughs> I'm not a very picky like movie goer. Like I kind of watch anything and be like, we're, that was decent. Yeah, but that movie was doo doo. <laughs> we're, like, we're pretty casual fucking movie viewers, but it's like, fucking Aquaman was so bad. What like, did you think of the special was, effects? I there were certain. It wasn't bits, that bad. There were certain bits where like it like the VFX was actually like really fucking good. But then like through like if you want to look at it consistently through the movie like and you look at Ocean Master's eyebrows. Like, I, I, the, it just put me off. They so named much. him Ocean Master. Okay, that was Harvey's <laughs> like, name. Ocean Master is a sick ass name. Fuck you. No, it is not. It, it is a terrible Bible, name. Man. Listen, listen, dude. Fucking like, imagine being called Aquaman versus Ocean Master. I take. I'd Ocean rather Master. be called. I mean, yeah, but they both sound cheesy. But it's it's like being called Batman. You're naming yourself after a fucking bat, but it's still cool. That's true, but like I don't know. Overall, the movie was just like. Real shit. Like it was I, like a. It was just a DC I movie. I wouldn't say. It was, <laughs> like, I'd say. I wouldn't say a shit. I give it like a five out of ten, which is like baseline. I I said five to six because like I did enjoy parts of it. Like it wasn't like I was hating the entire thing, but like compared to Wonder Woman, I think it was a lot worse. To put this in perspective, when I first saw Solo, I thought it was an incredibly average movie, and then I watched Aquaman, and then we watched Solo on Netflix like the day after. And I realized, dang, I like Solo a lot more after. No, of wow. yeah, no, I thought Solo was fucking horrendous. This being Dude, said, I didn't thought, see Aquaman, but like, Solo if you was thought awful. Solo was bad, you're gonna think Aquaman is like. like 10 I didn't think Solo worse. was bad. It was just like the most average thing I've ever seen. Like, um, Aquaman is. I think it's the new most average thing I've ever seen. It it was so like. It was. It wasn't necessarily like bad, bad, but like it was just so cliche. They're, it was like, ridiculous. Like, they, like when fucking like, uh, did you guys see that song that um, Pitbull did with Rio, where they sampled uh, Africa by Toto? No. It uh, it started playing like I knew about that song because the needle drop did a fucking uh, track review in it. It's a really fucking bad song. Go figure. But like when it started playing in the movie, I was laughing my ass off. I don't know that the movie was just so. Uh, and then someone fell asleep. Yes, yeah, so the next dude next to, to me fell asleep like twice. Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it was fucking great. Um, it was just such a cliche movie, though. Like, if you were watching it, you'd be like, I know what's going to happen after, like, every decision. Like, you're like, you're like, oh, obviously this thing's going to happen. I mean, I, like, no, it, sub- it subverted my expectations, but, like, not in, like, any meaningful way. Like, I thought Aquaman, uh, full spoilers for the movie, by the way, because we really don't give a shit. I'm, g- I'm sorry. 
But like so honestly, like, it's not worth like it's, I don't I, even know I, if it's I, worth like, a spoiler word. I don't I don't <laughs> regret watching the movie. Like I I enjoyed my time there mostly because I got to talk shit about it on the way back home with some with the buds. But it's like Aquaman subverted my expectations because I really thought his dad was gonna die like in that opening sequence. Like I was like, oh, he did, he's still alive. That's I thought okay. he was gonna die, so my expectations were I, I was really I was really happy at the end. Like it was really stupid to get like happy about it, but like when they got back together, it was. Like, his mom and his dad, Django Fett, it, it made me happy. Oh, yeah, the best part about the movie is that his dad is Django Fett and he has a really cute dog. Yeah. <laughs> that also, was the best was, like, movie the review part. ever. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's um, there's uh, also fucking the action segments. Like, those were actually pretty damn solid. Like um, No, the, the action was definitely better than most movies because, like, they had, like, they had a nice camera like, set up compared to other ones. It's definitely, I'd say it's, like, the best hand-to-hand uh, combat sequence in a DC film since uh, that warehouse scene from Batman v Superman. Like, um, they, for most of the action scenes, they went for this, like, uh, wide camera angle. Like, you know, like, that lens we use to record the podcasts, like, when we're doing them. Yeah. Much? Like, we have to use that big wide lens one. They use the lens like that for all the action sequences, and they would, like, follow the um person fighting multiple people uh throughout and it was like a really neat effect and i like some of the um there's one scene at the end where it was like these fucking crab people fighting atlantis or some shit and like the war scene with no music was actually pretty dope um but overall the action was probably the best part yeah and then everything else is like super cliche yeah. like the love interest like how they like i, I would say gradually like got invested in each other but it was pretty fucking sudden like they started off hating each other like usual then they held hands and they kissed and then at the end of it they were basically married <laughs> so that's like every it's... fucking movie ever <laughs> i know it was so cliche it was so fucking cliche like you knew what was gonna happen whenever something happened so it's like you know it's like, like it, it, it's so sad that quite is like my expectations were subverted when the dad didn't die yeah because that's such like a to have the mentor like father figures in movies die like uncle ben dies yeah and then like the entire <laughs> and then the entire movie the entire movie they're like they're taking hints of the mom's dead and it's like yeah your mom got sacrificed to like these fucking weird fish things and it's like you don't know if she's dead whoop you do she's not dead i am in deep shock oh yeah that's usually that, that, how it goes like, um that fucking like so apparently the hit there's like this bit about the hidden sea or some shit in the movie and fucking the hidden sea is the fucking earth's core apparently and I was like, "Is Dwayne the Rock Johnson gonna pop up somewhere?" Where's the fuck? Ugh, it hurt. It didn't yeah, hurt the the more. Earth's core. There's like apparently like there's apparently like a myth that the Earth's core is like, like you can live there, yeah, and, and there's like, ancient there's, creatures there's, in like, the Earth's core. And shit, but, like, yeah, so it's they, a myth, yeah. but it's like it's 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 fun to play with in your head or whatever. But um, it, it, and his mom was living there because that's where like the fucking there's a portal. Like in like where they go where they sacrificed her to all the fucking like weird reptile things that have only teeth to eat you with like yeah they're portal, weird fish. There's a portal where they live that takes you to the center of the earth, apparently. Like it's, it's yeah, great. and then the only way to get out was to get this like mega weapon, and then like whoop de do there's a big thing guarding the big mega weapon, and then he had to conquer the big thing to get the big mega weapon, and you knew he would do it because it, it <laughs> I know was you're a saying big mega weapon, but it sounds like you're saying. <laughs> Big N word weapon, and I was like, "Really? Brandon, what the hell?" It does. It does. I'll timestamp that. Just, you, just <laughs> you want me? To, he didn't say it, but it, like it just sounded. He, he definitely, like, he clearly did it, but it's like it's just my funny. ears aren't it's working like, right. That it's like, sound like it's you me. are my neighbor. You are both my neighbors, and I love you very much. <laughs> but like, we cannot use. <laughs> Sorry, Jesus. Oh, just cut it out then. Fuck. Right. There, was a, there was um the bit like you know um do you know who directed this movie, Brandon? No, oh, uh, no I just know that he's a horror guy. He does a James bunch of horror Wan. movies. Like, he does only horror movies, and his only other uh, movie I've seen in his uh, filmography that wasn't Aquaman, that wasn't a horror film, was fucking Furious Seven. Like I mean, it makes sense though because yeah, like the, the creatures that were really irky were like really fucking irky. Like, like they were creepy things. Like the scene where like they first got introduced, like. That was actually a really good scene. Like, um, Mare's just sitting on the fucking deck of the boat, right? And then um, the weird fish thing comes, is just standing there. Like, he's standing there watching. He's not going straight for the attack because he's trying to analyze his prey. It was actually, like, you could see his horror roots, like, coming through strong there. And, like, yeah. It, James Wan just seemed like an odd choice for this movie, come to think of it. 
No, it is an odd choice. It makes no sense. It's like the only thing that's a hope for DC is Suicide Squad two because of James Gunn directing it. Is he even that's directing it? it? Like, is that is that he, still he's he's writing thing? and directing? I'm pretty sure it's been confirmed. I, okay, let me look that up. <clears throat> From my understanding, it's been confirmed that he is writing, directing Suicide Squad two. So, it should actually be good. I mean, like, I don't think Suicide Squad was that bad. I thought Suicide Squad was better than Aquaman. I'm, so. I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't think so. Yeah, I don't. I, I know you don't think so. I thought it personally was uh, better. You thought Suicide um, Squad. I thought Suicide Squad was boring. Batman it's, versus Superman was one of the worst movies I've ever seen in my fucking life. DC confirms James Gunn for Suicide Squad two promises fresh take on the franchise. Okay, I think it. I think it was. I think he is. Yeah, but well, um. Uh, nah, Batman yeah. v Superman like. That movie sucked ass. It's not... That it's, movie was so shit. It's better than Aquaman, though. Dude, that movie is three it, hours of boring. I watched it on a fucking plane, and I almost clicked off multiple times. And I was on a goddamn plane with nothing to do. And I almost stopped watching it. I was that fucking bored. That movie sucked. You know, it's still really weird to think, like, what... It was such a fucking blip. Like, back in the day, like, everybody was super hyped for that shit. But then we realized... And like, then it came out, just, and everyone's like, this is so it's bad. Like, it's literally like, it, it has Wonder Woman, Batman, and Superman, right? But it's just like such an un-out-of-nowhere movie, I guess. Like The story, like, I, I don't know. It it felt, everything just felt so rushed. Like, to me. Like, it felt like they were moving through the story way too fast. Yeah, they tried to do the reverse Marvel thing. Like, and, uh, people have been over this a million times that, like... Uh, like, the reason Justice League didn't work so well was because they tried to stuff all that shit, like, introducing all these characters at once. But I don't know how true that is, because Guardians of the Galaxy worked, and they introduced, like, five characters at once. Yeah, but, like, I don't know. I, Marvel just has had, like, a lot more practice with it. Like, like people have been saying that DC is currently where Marvel was at, like, when they started working on Iron Man. Like, that's what people are comparing it to. The thing is, Iron Man was a really good film. Wait, what the fuck is... Yeah, Iron Man was really good, but wait, what uh, what other DC film that looks promising is coming out? It's like, Shazam. Uh, Shazam, yeah. I, I want to see that one. That one Shazam looks, looks like it could be well, kind of like, solid, but also kid actors. I, I thought Wonder Woman was good, first of all. Wonder I thought Wonder, Wonder Woman was Wonder good, Woman too. Good. I think uh, if DC had actually like done the individual movies first, they wouldn't be so far behind Marvel. And the difference between like a Guardians of the Galaxy and an Aquaman is that Aquaman is one person, but... Guardians of the Galaxy is an ensemble, so you don't need to spend an entire movie introducing the fucking raccoon and the tree. Like they, they just, I know, but it's like it's different. They, 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 I mm, I don't know about that because it's like um when you see Justice League and they try to introduce Cyborg, Aquaman, uh, fucking uh the, in the Flash all at once, like as three individual characters that are completely new, minus very minor cameos in previous films. And then you look at Guardians, who have characters like Gamora, fucking Peter Quill, and even Rocket to a degree, who are about as fleshed out as any individual Avenger. Like, I think, like, there's something to be said that it's not, like, a, a deal of how many people you're adding or, like, that they need their own solo movie first. It's just a matter of how you execute the team film. Yeah, also, um, Aquaman's, like, the way they built up Aquaman as a character was, like, the the start of the story made sense where they introduced like the mom and the dad and things like that. But there's just one segment, you know, in, like the was it the trailer where like the kids were picking on him and he talked to the shark. Yeah, he talked to the fish. Yeah, like in the movie, like it seemed like that'd be flushed out, flushed out more, but it wasn't. It was just like literally that clip, and then like it went into his adulthood. It was like that seems so pointless. It's like you you could have just fucking skipped that entirely. Like we didn't even need that part. So you can just talk to fish. Yeah, but it's like, there could have been, like, a better way to introduce the way he talks to Fish. Like, it was like, I don't know, because, like, that was the only segment of him being a kid. The only segment. And then it just, like, just disappeared. It just, I don't know, it didn't flow right, in my opinion. It was weird. Weird transition. So Aquaman yeah. is an OC? Um, eh, it depends. If you're a DC fan, I'd go for it. If you're but, one of the five people who like to go to those movies... You should yeah, go I mean, like, I mean, to be fair, I've seen every DC movie in theaters except for Man of Steel, so I will take an L here. I saw yeah. Man of Steel in theaters. God, that was it was awful. I, uh, ironically, isn't the, isn't Steel, the one with the isn't the one with the CGI Steel face like my second favorite DC film? Okay, isn't the one with the CGI face. Uh, no, no, that's Justice League. Yeah. Okay. Dude, Man of Steel was like watching a disaster movie. Like, I don't know. It it was a good bad time. Like, it's in the like, theaters, like, it, it, it benefited from that. 
I, I don't. I, I watched it on my own, and like, um, it, I don't remember being too bothered by it at the time. Looking back, I can see the issues people had, but it's like, I don't know. He's like a retard newborn Superman. It's his first time. He can break a couple necks. Everybody has time to learn, you know? It was so violent. Everybody takes <laughs> it. Everybody that, that's coming from me. It, it was violent. <laughs> I don't think I've watched this. You haven't seen Man of Steel? It's a good watch. I don't think so. I guess guys, we'll watch you it guys tonight. Watch Damn. It. Damn. Damn, I miss you guys. I wish I was there. Fuck. <laughs> miss you too. I'm sorry. We wish you were here too. Yeah, I wish you were here so we could pick on you. Are you kidding me? Be quiet. I bet you're wearing a purple hoodie <laughs> Diesel, right now, aren't you? It's just not the same. Brandon. I am not wearing a purple hoodie. It's I'm wearing my Discord same. partner Brandon, hoodie. Henry and Anna like have like ethnic group sex every night, and I'm just left alone. Oh my god, the stands are gonna That's have a field day weird. with that one sentence. <laughs> Should we cut that out? No, I'm leaving it in. <laughs> god, I mean, okay, look. What what did I what did we watch when I was there? Oh yeah, uh, Infinity War. That was a great movie. Love that movie. Ten out of ten. I love Infinity War. <laughs> I was like, I forgot. We went to we saw we Spider Verse as well while I was there. Yeah, yeah Spider Verse. Yeah. yeah, that was yeah. What I oh yeah, about we the t- we already talked about this. We were like, yeah, the, the end meme was the best meme. It was a bonus meme. Bonus Can you find bonus meme. memes? That's what it was. It was a bonus meme. I mean, like, we didn't stay to the end of Aquaman to see there's any end credits because we're like, it's DC. Do we really care? I, I wanted to stay, but they didn't. Brandon no one else wanted to who, stay. Who do you no even think would have shown up? In the, it, was there an after credits to Aquaman? Jamie, Wait, look that up. There know. was a mid-credits scene, and I'm apparently in it. Like, the one of my favorite DC characters is fucking Black Manta for no good-ass reason. I, I don't know why, but I love him. But, oh, yeah, um, Black Manta in the fucking movie was so pointless, too. He was there I, for, like, three seconds and got I, killed. He, he or like Black Manta was only in the him, movie for like three seconds. What the fuck? No, no, him, no seriously. Black so towards Manta, the start, no, like he was being. I think what I said when we were watching it that he's being set up for a future film was right. Yeah, but it just because, it like, felt the, it the, felt the, so the mid, forced. The mid credit scene is him getting saved and in, in like them showing his fate. That's the mid credit scene. It felt so forced though. So basically, right? Okay, so towards the start of the movie, I love to be. Um, you can't change my mind. Towards the start of the movie, what happened was is he they invaded the ship. And then Aquaman invaded the ship they invaded and killed all of them and then killed his father, or let him die, I should say. He killed Black Man's daddy. Yeah, and then I'm sorry if I spoiled it for anybody, but like it's it's not a good movie. We already said no, <laughs> we already said full spoilers, like so. Yeah, we already we already we didn't say the ended, so technically Dude, super I, I'm not but, gonna um, remember any of this anyway, so I could probably go and watch Aquaman and be like, oh, No, okay, man, but this then is towards the start of the movie towards the start of the movie, it was like Oh yeah, his father died. What a surprise! Now he's gonna want vengeance on him, and then what a surprise he does. So then Atlanteans give him like this tech, and he makes a suit out of it, and then he chases Aquaman, and then dies in like five minutes, or he gets knocked off a cliff in like five minutes. So it was like honestly, he probably had like at most twenty to twenty-five minutes of screen time, I'd say. So it wasn't that long. But he felt pretty forced, in my opinion. I do, I, I do like Black Manta though. He looks fantastic. He looks fantastic. No, I think he would have been good as an independent villain, but like it, it just felt like they were jamming too many fucking villains into play. I'm just so happy they like just went full in with his costume. Like they're like, fuck it, dude. He can have the big stingray helmet. It's gonna be great. Yeah, like, his costume and, like, was good. Even in the action, that. like the action scenes were him with good, but like you could tell how clunky the fucking helmet looked. Because it's like a flat fucking disc. It does look really I loved clunky. it so much. I loved it so much. Okay, speaking of, uh, I don't know, clunky transitions, Diesel, take it away. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, Soldier Boy has just been rolling in internet clout these days. Um, but there's an Ariana Grande song that sounds a lot like um, the Soldier Boy song that goes... It, it, wait, I forget how it goes. Quite this the thing. Right here is my pretty boy swag. Oh, that was Soldier yeah, yeah, yeah. Boy. I, that's Soldier it's Boy. that meme. Like the one you hear in TikTok's a remix. But oh yeah, my those god, are, what those the are, fuck? That's Soldier Boy's voice. Okay, so then Ariana Grande copied him. Yes. Not, not actually, but like as a funny meme, yeah. Well, like, <laughs> what happened? They were so, talking about it on some Daily Show, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, like they they were joking about it, but it's like you know that like really uh um that really like you know ge- not generic but like common flow like in trap and shit where it's like uh it's like this right here like that flow you hear it all the time so you like if you yeah. heard that Soldier Boy today you'd think it's an actual song but today right well like she used a similar flow in um or like a similar sound in a fucking her new Seven Ring song 
and like this different artist, um, I think her name's Naomi. I, I've seen her around, but I don't think I've listened to her music. But like she like unironically accused Ariana Grande of stealing like one of her songs. Okay. And then like there's a whole it's a whole mess. But so the real original, Ariana Grande stole Soldier Boy's song. I mean, not really, but like yes. Okay. I say she did. <laughs> Cause why not? Okay. I, I'm rubbing my boy Soldier Boy. He is one of the best um, memes. Oh my god! Shut up. Of oh, they're gonna say fucking rapper. I'm no. like, fucking he says he, me? Well, he that tweeted too, that too. <laughs> he tweeted five minutes ago. I'm the hottest rapper in the game right now. Word. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> He's. St- how does he still get fucking Twitter moments about him? Like Soldier Boy is is like unreasonably relevant for the amount of hits he ha- he's had in the last five years. No, like fucking, it's because of his game console crap recently. No, like, not even just that, but like before that, like he was still a massive fucking meme and shit. Like he he gets stupid amount. I of mean, reasons. I don't know about you, but in middle school, I would dance to the Soldier Boy song I know, all but the time. It's like he he's not just like a one hit wonder. Like he's like, uh, when was the last time you heard anything about Trinidad James? I don't fucking know. I don't even know who Trinidad <laughs> yeah, exactly. James is. Soldier Boy stayed fucking alive, even though his music's dead. He stayed alive because he's such a fucking idiot. Like that's the only reason. Unless he's like being an idiot on purpose, he's just an idiot. <laughs> like that's the only reason he's fucking relevant. Who even knows nowadays? Because like, only reason people are fucking talking to him now or talking about him now is because the fucking Soldier Boy this game is, console. This is Soldier Boy's hot take on Kanye West, though, and this shit's hilarious. You not take? Walt Disney. You not Steve Jobs. Only thing you did was come up with some pair of tennis shoes and them's ugly as shits. <laughs> I don't think Yeezys are that ugly. Yeezys I think are Yeezys split, are gross. Brother. I don't think they're ugly. I just think that there's, there's a lot there's of fucking certain rip-offs. ones that look like they're water flotation devices. Okay. No, they do. I mean, like Henry has a fucking, pair of no, like <laughs> Adidas shoes. Has, they look Yeezys. like Yeezys. Yeah, like I remember, I was with Niall like um, in Melbourne, and he just bought a fucking one K pair of Yeezys at a sh- at a shop. It's fucking insane. Like, and I was like, really, bro? Like, what, bro? I have a friend Oops. who would stand like he would like do the uh, sneaker reselling thing, and he'd go and he'd stand outside a Foot Locker at like midnight to go get a pair of ugly ass fucking sneakers. Just so he could Bro. resell them for a hundred dollar profit, and Dude, I mean like, I do okay, that. but I I don't know, I'm just too lazy to get out of my house, and I could relaxingly like sit around at home. You're too lazy to get out of your house F- to get a pair of shoes. What? That's like one of the reasons you leave the house. I no, mean to, like, like stay just out, Amazon no, to like stay out in the morning like till like like at three oh you mean get like exclusive shoes okay okay i thought you were just saying in general i was really fucking confused i was like you just don't you don't leave your house to get new shoes ever no i've left my house to get new shoes that's that's one of my favorite pastimes to do that at normal hours (laughs) yeah like a fucking 3 p.m or something a normal time to get shoes yes sick Oh, what else did uh, Soldier Boy do that was interesting? Okay, so Soldier Boy tweeted out recently that he needed money, and then he just like linked like I think it was like a Cash App link. It just said, "The person who donates the most money gets like a fucking Soldier Watch." <laughs> he said the best part was he said a random person who donates the most money. A random person who donates have, the most money. <laughs> have people even like gotten their Soldier Boy products that I, they ordered? I I don't I don't know. I don't know if they got the actual one or if they just bought the one on Amazon for video sake. Because I like, I know that I, I, I know shipping can take a long time, um, depending on where it comes from. But like, it shouldn't take more than two fucking weeks to get a product you buy. You know. Yeah. So like, is he just not shipping them out? I, I, I don't know. I don't know what the fucking whole deal with this shit is. I don't know if like he actually had them or if like he just ordered a really shit shipping uh. Cause I I ordered I ordered a little Mac Amiibo like fucking January 11th and it still hasn't wait no that's when it's expected you could have right, just gone is... to the store and bought Oof. one and all that time like well I, I was like I was like you know I can just get it online and it's gonna get here in like a week or something nope it's I ordered it December 11th and it was supposed to get here January 11th and it still hasn't arrived at my house so I'm gonna have to fucking either leave these motherfuckers some bad feedback or ask for my item because it's been like a month and a half <laughs> I would like to speak to your manager please I'm wild spartans do you know yeah. who I am I, I would like do an accent but I, I'm not feeling it 
while Spartans is a Jewish housewife, apparently. How? When, when, oh my God! You, it's where the fuck did what? you get Jewish from? I, I don't South know. Park. It just sounded South like those Park. ladies. South Park. That. That's what it sounded like. It sounded like South Park. Kyle's mom. Right, right now, I now I can see it now. The article says FPS Diesel anti semi. It's a fucking. So- it's the soccer mom meme. Or like the I would the, like to the, speak ca- the Karen took the no, kid's it, wife. No, it. You sounded just like um. Isn't it Kyle who's the Jewish kid in South yeah. Park? Yeah. Yeah, you sounded just like Kyle's mom. Okay, so I'm not like fucking. Well, I know she's okay. You know what? Never mind. I'm not even gonna defend this. I don't need to defend. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this reminds me of the time the fucking South Park creator said that watching PewDiePie's Let's Play of the Stick of Truth was good for the fucking next game. Really? Damn. <laughs> yes. They said his Let's Play was good for feedback, apparently. Oh. Who was? PewDiePie's Let's Play of the Stick of Truth. Oh, that's not surprising. Yeah, they said it was a useful resource. I need to play the South Park games. I still haven't touched them. Me I don't. Neither. I don't. I think I own the Stick of Truth, but I haven't played it. Because I think, I think I got it for really cheap. Let me check. I don't. Maybe I don't. Oh, wait. Oh, no, I don't. Damn it. Well, game over. Game that over, gamers. That is a bra moment. I don't own it. You could probably yeah, get it for real cheap. Yeah, it probably could. Anyways, um, so Machinima is owned by full screen now? Yeah, Diesel? okay. So, like, he- here's, the, here's the short and skinny. Here's the rub. Um, so, Machinima, that. first of all, their parent company, Otter Media, laid off 10% of its staff during uh, reorganizations, which probably means Only 10%. they are going to go under soon. But Well, it's fucking Machinima, and like no one likes Machinima. Well, they have a re-brand. parent company that does other like media crap outside of just like Machinima, right? Okay. Um, and so like Machinima is their digital gaming like end of that, you know, like a, uh, like a Polygon video or whatever. Like Basically, that's what they are. Okay. Anyway, they're reorganized under AT&T now, right? And so this was, like, under, like, the Time Warner acquisition and all that bullshit. So a bunch of people got fired, and then a bunch of the content creators who work with Machinima are now, without any warning, just being partnered with full screen <laughs> against Ooh. their will. That's kind of fun. I don't know what's worse, being part of Machinima or full screen. <laughs> Oof. Yeah, that sucks. That's really shit. I don't, like, Machinima's contracts are so bad, some of those creators are probably in there from, like, 2010. <laughs> the way back days. But yeah, so they're probably gonna um, file for bankruptcy at some point. I don't know, this usually is what happens. They shift around to organization, and then all of a sudden... And then, they're, and then, they're they, <laughs> and then they give up, they're like, you know what, we tried. Let's we just tried cut to our losses the company. and... Get rid of the guys who make that weird um, Transformers show. Because Machinima did didn't that. they? Didn't didn't Machinima technically make Red versus Blue? Uh, no, that was no. Rooster Teeth. That was Rooster, it was Rooster Teeth. Teeth? Yeah. Okay, weren't they partnered at the time? No, maybe, but they didn't make it. Okay. Oh my God! The entire Machinima channel is like, why why are there no thumbnails? It's just no thumbnails. This is like we're looking at a graveyard. <laughs> Mission of was a graveyard. It's true. I know we've talked about it on the podcast before, but their redesign looks horrendous. It does. It, it looks do, really it fucking do, ugly. They do be like that. Yeah, they they all of their videos are gone. All of their videos. So Machinima is probably no more cuz like somebody was on the account just liking videos cuz it's like in response to so flow Antonio from H2H3 Productions 2 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> He's just having a good time, isn't he? God, that's Fuck, that's really 12 sad. Milli- Twelve million subscribers, dude! What a fucking powerhouse! Just gone like that, snap of a finger. Wow, that's that's pretty. Like you can't watch any of it. All of it is privated. That's really this sad. This used to be a f- even the happy hour is fucking gone. Battlefield friends, fucking gone. Oh my god, it's a graveyard. The the this guy who does uh, Arby and the Chief has been trying to get all of his episodes back, and he's been, like, putting them out. That actually... I mean, like, honestly, like, if Machinima goes under, like, that's genuinely, like, a really good thing for creators, because it's, like, they're honestly, like, a terrible predatory fucking MCN. Like, they're awful. They got so many people to sign up for 60, 40 fucking contracts back in 2013 for, like, their lifetimes. It wasn't even, like, a two-year agreement. It was their fucking lifetimes they made these people sign up for. 
It's ridiculous. No, Machinima, like the Machinima was like a total scam. They were super predatory with it, like how they act, like acted online. There's tons of like horror stories from other like creators. I know before I rebranded my channel, um, what was it, Ross Boom Socks? I did a video about him trying to get out of Machinima and them like holding him by like legally hostage. So it was That's great so times. fucked up. The, you can still I mean, watch luck- one episode of Minecraft The Noob Adventures. It's episode 23, and that's the only episode that's public. Damn. Start now. Binge the rest. <laughs> Start now. Don't You won't be able to binge the rest. <laughs> that's fucked. Why did you laugh? Are they, they still, are they still active? Are they still, uh, they're not even, like... Actually, they're kind of active on social media still, though. That's weird. What are they... Speaking are they of, saying? like... Wait, are they active on out crap. social media? That's weird. But in terms of, like, 2013 content, you know what's, like, really amazing? And, like, I think we talked about it before. Like, Red vs. Blue is, like, genuinely really fucking good. I'm, like, I'm currently on, like, season one and I'm rewatching it. I need to as time goes. You're going all the way back to season one, oof. Uh-huh. I haven't watched it since, since I was, like, 13 years old. I know. I got a lot of binge, dude. <laughs> I got a lot of stuff to binge whenever I want to. No, it's really fucking good. Like, it's it, it's held up really well and I'm really impressed with like, the main seasons, on Netflix as well. I think like... I think it's 7 to 12 for the best of Red vs. Blue. I think those are the seasons I'm talking about. I really like the old school look, though. Like, just playing in Halo. And really? then fucking... Uh, yeah! I mean, I kind of, like... No, I, it's really I, I liked nostalgic. I the world-building crap, but then, like, after a while, it got to be a lot, and I was just like, this is getting, like, too lore-intensive, and I miss an episode. It's and... also It's also just, like, really stupid. Like, they have a fucking, like... They have, like, a Hispanic robot named like lopez or something. i love lopez <laughs> i want to be able to channel lopez when i'm older it just, it's just it's just so like great <laughs> it's held up really well i mean it could just be like p- partially nostalgia but is that a word nostalgia 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 nostalgia, nostalgia is like when you better. feel it in your gut and it starts to hurt it's a type of disease there's a hurt Ooh, Ooh. there's no hurt in my there's gut. a hurt <laughs> i felt nostalgia a... when i played sonic 06 for the first time Oof. Dude, fucking... <laughs> fuck up. Why the fuck is there... There's a terrible Photoshop on um, machinima.com of some fucker playing at a game... At a Tic Tac box? Is that... Oh, wait, is it, is it real? They photo... Why did you go to Machinima's I don't know. website? Or are you on No, Twitter? it's on their Twitter. It's on their Twitter. I don't want to go to some... Because I want to see how many likes they get and how dead they are. They're really dead. I'm surprised they get this many likes, to be honest. No likes, no likes, no likes. I don't know. I assume I mean, for, it's all Russian For 4 bots. million followers, that's real shit. But Honestly, I don't think it's bots. Because like, the Twitter audit thing is... It, it's honestly not that accurate. I don't know how it measures it. But like back in, like I don't know when I did it, like 2014, it said I had like 30% bots or something. And I was like, that's really fucking weird. And then you go do it now, and it's like 4%. And I'm like, what the fuck? How do I even have bots, period? Like, I don't get it. it I don't know. I don't know how accurate it is. Especially, like, I don't know, I think dead followers count as bots, according to that website. Potentially, really? and also, like, spam porn, whatever shit. Yeah, I don't know exactly how they fucking get it. I don't know, It's I think it's, like, a general thing, like, if it's over 50%, and it's like, oh, that's like, oh, that's not good, but... First person Fortnite, thank you, Machinima. First person Fortnite? That that's sounds so like weird. my channel in a f- fucking alternate reality. <laughs> First person Fortnite, it's great. <laughs> dude fucking vr fortnite that sounds like cancer it does sound like cancer it also sounds kind of interesting so you guys want to get into the big boy topic Ooh. what's the big boy topic big... who's gonna introduce it diesel is because it's. A i think it's topic. diesel's big boy topic i, I oh, mean that's yeah the big but boy like topic. We, we've all been following it so you know. <laughs> yeah oh yeah I've been following it for a long time so uh i know a lot of our audience is probably Irritated as hell with how many quackity related videos are being uploaded recently. Okay, it's literally been three at this point. Like, it's not that um, much. It's me, you, Cabot just quackity. uploaded one. Oh, Cabot did? Yeah. Didn't see that. Okay, so, well, four? Yeah, he he, he, he so, yeah, just uploaded like, one like an hour ago. Okay, yeah, but like. Yeah, I guess. Uh, but yeah, okay, the gist of it is if you've not been paying attention to us, but watch the podcast anyway. Um. Quackity, a dear friend of ours, was banned from Discord. And he was banned from Discord because he does raids, quote-unquote. But it wasn't necessarily that. It was 
pretty much because he did a video about furry discords. And the mod who banned him was a furry and was offended by the video. And so now he's trying to get his Discord back from Discord. And Discord hasn't said anything in, like, what is it, three, four days now? Yeah, they haven't publicly said anything about it's it. Like, like, it's like to, 200 tweets you, a minute. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And if you, go, if you go to their, like, any tweet they've recently made, you just scroll down, like, couple tweets you'll you'll at least one person talking about quackity and then also like the replies um, like even when they make pen- replies to people and shit like it's just yeah crazy. they'll make a bunch of replies to bump it out of like the fucking reply section like they um, reply to like people asking for help and then to their replies of like them helping people it's like yeah yeah. Quackity. yeah i tried doing um, that they wouldn't answer me i think they have me soft blocked <laughs> but um whatchamacallit the also like the subreddit the subreddit's apparently like always been super anti- um, critique of discord um, i saw a really long post about the mods and then the mods responded to it saying like we allow open discourse but like these posts were like bad or something like that like they were like they were short shit posts or something like that that was just the justification for it uh, i don't know much about that but i do know that there is history of the trust and safety team neglecting a bunch of issues and like i've seen more people tell me about the issues they've neglected as uh, as this has full- unfolded so yeah, since, that's interesting. Since I like spoke about it on Twitter and like did a video, and I, I I'm sure quite you can attest to this, but people have been like either tweeting me or saying in my comments, it's like yeah, I was banned by like the same person as well, and this is the reason why I was banded or banded, Jesus, banned, and it was like not justified, and there's like tons of these stories that are like. I've been getting some of that too. Yeah. Yeah. There's just been I've people also. All I, I have like I have no way of verifying those. Like, like short of reaching out. With yeah. We yeah. like these. This is just stuff that we, like this is just stuff we've read online of people posting yeah, in, about in, their in, situations. In my comment section. So I like bear, bear yeah. that in mind. Yeah. And like also also keep in mind like the only reason like we can't necessarily prove this because we don't have like every exchange, but like there is enough to like raise a question of like is this legit? Because like there's a lot of fucking posts about the trust and safety team neglecting real problems like underage servers and shit like that. Like dating servers, underage dating servers, and just shooting for fucking dumb shit. And like there was also one post where it was like, um, they they ignored, they justified, a trust and safety team member justified um, furry cub stuff, which is not good. Um, it's like baby anthro stuff. It, it's, it's the equivalent of like, um, like lolly. Lo- lolly porn, yeah. Yeah, and like they 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 defended it and were like it's furry art, and I was like that's not good. <laughs> like you might as well just not fucking respond to that point instead of defending it. You know, if you don't want to get rid of it, don't fucking defend it. It's fucking stupid. Um, but yeah, it, it definitely it doesn't look good, especially since uh, one of the moderators um, from the trust and safety team used to moderate a Reddit, a subreddit, and then they got demoted. So, I saw that. Like, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's like, it's like, are you kidding me? You, you hired somebody that fucking <laughs> got demoted from a goddamn subreddit. They couldn't moderate a subreddit correctly, and you want to hire them? You want to pay them to moderate your your fucking application? You know, like, none of this would have ever gotten out or become such a big issue had Quackity not been banned. You know? And no, honestly, no, seriously. I mean, what was and happening also, before he was banned was a complete unju- like injustice. But like. In a way, it is kind of good that that happened, but I, Quackity's no, yeah, dying. Then, I feel so bad also, for him. Th- this wouldn't be nearly as big of a deal if the fucking person that was talking to Quackity wasn't so unprofessional. Like, reading that message, it just makes you angry because it's so fucking opinionated. It doesn't even matter if, like, you're the person that got banned. It just sounds so passive-aggressive that you're just like, wow, you sound like a fucking dickhead. Yeah. Like it, I, I'm it, sure part of this, like, there's like our bias play again, because like we all know Quackity. He's like the sweet, he's the sweetest fucking kid on planet Earth, and it's like, fucking like you call him, you say like he harasses people and he's like trying to like fuck people's lives up, and we're like, you piece of shit. He never fucking does that shit. I would fucking stab you. No, I wouldn't. But <laughs> okay. Like, I'm speaking in hyperbole. Please don't. We're, we're speaking in hyperbole, but you know it's like. Quackity's like the sweetest fucking person on earth, and it's like when you hear someone talk about him that way, I'm sure that's part of us playing into it, but it's like just being a dickhead through emails when you're supposed to be in a professional position is fucking stupid. No, it, it really is, and it's like, I don't know. <laughs> you shouldn't be fucking unprofessional. It's like, I get it, you know, people, you can get annoyed as like a customer service kind of person, but like, you need to keep it professional for the company's sake. You know, like, I get if something annoys you and like something pisses you off, but like, 
you can't snap like that in a company's position yeah. in, or else it's, you get situations like this. It's like, I think like, um, the whole diversity of thoughts and, uh, of people like comes into play here. Cause, um, it, I don't even, none of this would happen. Not just if Quackity didn't get banned in the first place, but if, when he got banned, if, when he was trying to solve it privately, which he did for, uh, he a did lot, a lot. No, more. he seriously did. Nobody, like a lot of people don't realize that he was trying to like, people are all like, I saw a couple people say something real stupid. Like, Oh, Quackity's going after discord on Twitter. This is proof that he's toxic. And it's like, what do you expect him to do? Like, th- like you're supposed to hold companies accountable. You, you can't just like let shit happen. He spent pretty much like this entire year. Like his year so far has been him privately trying to sort this shit out. with yeah. Discord Before going public with it. Yeah, and he if waited had, up like, until he got his account deleted. If they hadn't been like, a dickhead to him while he while he was going through that process, and like fucking like uh, other people had reviewed the situation, like and they a could have given clarification if it was legit ban, or they could have moved it on. Like if um another person like saw it and like no, this is definitely a situation of bias. Like either way, like if yeah, he got he got nowhere. If they had those conflicting thoughts, if anything had happened, if it didn't just come to a standstill where they started ignoring him. Yeah, they um they just completely neglected him after a certain point, and they're just like, ah, you know, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Your opinion's pretty much invalid. And I was like, oh, okay, uh, that's great. So, but he, yeah, he he did it privately a lot longer than I would have because yeah. he he basically lost all chance of uh, getting his account back with how long he waited to sort it out privately. Um, because like he he waited up until he got deleted, and he was like, well, fuck it, dude. I, I my account's gone now. There's like no point. So. It's like I, I, it's, I don't know. It's a ter- it's a shit situation, and the fact that like, the, the fact that a, a two billion dollar fucking company has like a trust and safety team that is is so unprofessional with how they ban people is ridiculous. Like I'm surprised like this hasn't been talked about before. Because it's like there's there's tons of emails of people in the trust and safety team just being passive aggressive and like condescending and just really unprofessional with people. Um, so like I'm I don't know I'm really fucking surprised. To be honest, it's just so weird, like because like you would never expect this from someone working at Skype, <laughs> you yeah, know. Does anyone still like, work at Skype? People. To be fair, <laughs> does anyone still work at Skype, Brandon? I mean, yeah, someone fucking... has to use Skype. <laughs> it's just fucking. I don't know, like, we, like lots of lots of business contacts still use Skype. Yeah, yeah, true. But like, we're we've obviously been very critical of Discord throughout like this segment of the podcast, but like. We say that because, like, we fu- we love this program to death. Like, hell, we're using it to record this podcast right now. No, it, it's genuinely a really it's like, solid program. And it's like, like we don't want to see it fall to shit because it's something that we've enjoyed so thoroughly. Yeah, I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it, like, cut, just turn into shit because, like, somebody can't just be unbiased or, like, have, like, you know. It's not just, even that they can't. I don't know, not, good judgment. Not, not that, like, even asking someone to not be uh, biased because, like, it, there's going to be slip ups like this. Like, Quackity's account getting banned could have happened to Yeah, but it's like, it, it's, yeah, but, like, but it's the like. The issue is even, there's no one there to question. Like, it doesn't seem like there's anyone there to question them on their decisions when they're I mean, biased. it's like, you can, like, you can love, like, a company or the programs that they put out, but there's nothing wrong with being critical or questioning yeah, of, yeah, like, yeah. the things that they do, you know? And I mean, I think it's like. It's kind of like a microcosm of what's happening with YouTube, where it's like YouTubers are constantly bitching at YouTube, fix the platform, fix the platform, fix the platform, you know, and like YouTube's ignoring it and not doing anything like this. And we're in a position of like, we can actually, you know, do something about it. So we're going to do something about it. Like, I I don't see, like, that's part of the reason I did a video, aside from Quackity being (laughs) my friend. Yeah, yeah. the people, the people that are all like, oh, you're just perving the Discord person's point because you're having them spam Discord. It's a $2 billion company. Like, like it's I don't know to, what. Like, how could to you have expectations of the thing of the companies you're buying from? Yeah, and then it's like, how the fuck can you be like, like, oh yeah, dude, fucking Discord's totally the victim of the situation. This two billion dollar company's really getting it's really getting fucked over. It's like, when what people, the fuck are you talking the about? Victim, I'm sure they're referring to the mod individually, but it's like, um, I don't know. It's hard to say in that case. Like, I know Diesel has a different thought process on it than me. Like, with the whole public being the name and all that shit. I, in my opinion, like, as long as you keep it professional publicly, like, I don't know. I just don't think you should have used your, like, mod name as the same name you use for your, like, personal stuff on the internet. Because I think that's yeah, you what, like, keep it in like, nobody you would have been able to find those tweets had that not been the case, in my opinion. You shouldn't associate your mod name with, um, like, your personal account and then complain about people going to your personal account, even though that's your mod name. <laughs> You know, like, and then you put it in your bio that you're a trust and safety member, 
and then you complain about people going to your personal account and talking to you about Discord, even though it says in your bio that you're a trusted safety yeah, member. Yeah, you, you can't <laughs> expect that not to happen. Even, like, before this, I'm certain they got plenty of tweets being like, oh, this happened, can you take a look at it, you know? So, like, that that's definitely something that's happened previous to this. And, and, I, and I realize, like, obviously it's a big step to, like, say that this person at this company is doing something wrong and you think they need to be held accountable for it. Like, that's a big, that's a big step. That's, like, if I was a journalist at, like, a blog and someone I feel they committed, like, a wrongdoing at their job, and so, like, I wrote a piece about them, you know, that's, that's the equivalent level of that this would be on, you know? So, obviously, like, I don't know what's going to happen next. I don't want to see anybody lose their job. Nobody wants to see that. But it's like... No, I mu- I much rather... Them, just want to see them get better at it. That's no, I, yeah, I mu- I much rather have them just, like, be like, you know what? I, you know, this is stupid. And just, like, revoke the ban and then understand, like, they need to be less biased and just do their jobs properly. I'd, re- I'd much rather have that I happen. would I would much rather be like, I'm sorry I made a mistake, you know? Like... Yeah, no, yeah. I, I'd much rather have that, but, like, I don't I don't think they're going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so... they're going to do that. <laughs> if, I was, if I was their boss, I would be fuming. That's all I'm I saying. I mean, <laughs> at this point, like, if they are listening to this podcast, they're probably just listening, like, so annoyed that we'd even insinuate that they're wrong. <laughs> but, you know, <laughs> and if they're not, I'm impressed. And if that comment didn't piss you off, I'm extra impressed. <laughs> <laughs> it probably did. So. Someone someone uh, replied to my tweet saying that they banned Quackity in advance for the like wrongdoings he might do in the future, and like <laughs> what an awful opinion is that? Like, like what the fuck are I you s- saying? A, a lot of people in my comments section like were trying to refute like my whole me saying the raids thing was like relatively harmless like. And they brought up hip, like the Roblox servers getting shut down and shit, and I'm like, fair enough. But Discord is known about those for a year. The least. Roblox forums actually got shut down months after Quackity's last. Oh, raid. so it wasn't even as a result of this. No, no, it was it, not. It, yeah. it really okay, wasn't. So yeah, no, none of that shit. No, people people blamed it on him, and I think he might have like ironically joked that he did it, but like he didn't do it. Like, let's be realistic. Yeah, no, like, Honestly, okay, the so real he... reason Roblox probably closed down their form was because of fucking child predators. That's probably the real reason. But th- that's, like... that's besides the point, though. That's besides the point. Like, the raids, they were trying to argue, like, actually caused, like, genuine grief or whatever, but it's not very long-lasting if it is. And also, it's, um... Oh, fuck, I just lost my train of thought. Fuck me. Oh, no. No, no, <laughs> I... I, no. I, remember, I remember now, okay. I remember now. But it's like, Discord has known about this shit for a year, and they mentioned it to, like, to Quackity's staff, and they did something about it on Discord, and then they didn't contact him about the raids at all until after the Animal Jam one. A year later. Yeah. Yeah, and then, like, it didn't even seem like the, um... The only timing that there is for that fucking email is literally his furry Discord video. Because he put it in a raid a couple weeks before, I believe, and there was no fucking message then. But then, like, the furry Discord video comes out, and then, oof, that's where the line's drawn. (laughs) You know, like, fuck. And then, like, that video was, like, super fucking innocent. It was... Mm -hmm. It was super innocent. Like, Quackity got bullied more than anything. Do you, like, like, yeah, I mentioned in my video, the comedy comes from him being, like, f- so out of fucking place. Yeah, it, it's like, it, it was such a mundane video. <laughs> like, I don't... It's, it's, not like, it's not like your Henry's Prairie videos where it's like, ha-ha, parasitical, and it's like, fucking, that's it. Yeah, no, it was, it was super fucking chill, and, like, it... I, I'm just... Like, I don't know. It's just really the, surprising uh, the, that that's what did it. The person I got in an argument with on Twitter was like, Oh, think of the children. They're going on the Roblox forums and they're seeing swear words. And it was just like, your child is going on the internet. Of course there's swear words, you fucking mongoloid. But no, I couldn't I, fit that I into really, my video, so, you know, I'm fitting people, in now. <laughs> okay, pe- okay. Uh, people always, like, are really concerned with their fucking parents. Or their, like, parents are always really concerned with their kids going online and, like, being exposed to things. They're like, let me tell you something. Right now, parents, if you're listening, you're probably not. Um, if you let your kid online, they're exposed to literally everything on the fucking planet. And nothing's going to stop that. <laughs> so, you know, like, they're going to be exposed to cursing and a bunch of other things you don't want them to fucking see. It's bound to happen. The internet is a very open, free place where they can do whatever the fuck they want. So, like, I don't know. People always get really concerned with that. And Like, in, like, middle school, people are all like... Oh, I don't want my kids to learn about cursing. They know about cursing. <laughs> they know about cursing. 
Ugh. Okay. Oof. That's it. My tangent's done. No, I, I, I couldn't believe, like, the person, like... And I, 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 and I don't mute people often, but, like, I'll do it if they're just, like, ignoring everything I'm saying. They're like, oh, they need to ban him in advance, so that way we can make sure this never happens to children again. And I'm just like, okay, well, you know, the Minority Report is a great example of what the future's like. I'm, cer- I'm certain that's a great world that we'd want to live in. You know, I love going down to New York City and the cops just stopping and frisking me and then being like, okay, sir, never mind. We thought you were going to commit a crime, but turns out you just got a big old banana in your pocket. Like, come on. Like, this shit's ridiculous. You carry a banana in your pocket? I mean, you never know, man. Sometimes you just get low well, that's on your potassium problem. and you need to boost, <laughs> boost it. There is a... That, that remind, I thought you were making a different kind of joke, <sighs> but that reminds me of this one story I read, like, years back about, like, the dude with, like, the world's record biggest long... Like, the world record longest penis. Like, he got stopped at an airport because, like, the security thought his dick in his pants was a weapon. <laughs> yeah, I mean, no, like, I did make a dick joke. I'm pretty... But... Like, doesn't it go down to, like, his fucking ankle? No, it's, like, a foot long or something. Oh, uh, okay. That's... Yeah, that's that's definitely expected. You know, if your fucking dick's that big, you're gonna have problems with TSA. Jesus so. Christ. Also, probably erectile dysfunction in the later age. Oof. Did you see that TSA played sicko mode in uh, JFK? What? No, no. I did not yeah. see that. So T- I mean, I, they were protesting I, the uh, government shutdown by playing like rap music over the speakers. <laughs> I also, I also, um, like the fuck. Where was it? I think it was Pittsburgh. I think it was a Pittsburgh. Some like ah uh, fuck. God damn it! I can't believe I forgot this. It was pretty. It was either Atlantic or fucking Pittsburgh or something like that. But they're fucking um they're rallying Friday. I don't know exactly what that means. I don't know if that means that they're going on strike or if it's something different. Diesel enlighten me. Yeah. Okay. Wait. TSA offers officers will rally Friday at Pittsburgh in an international airport. What does that mean, Diesel? They're probably gonna have a protest. Okay. This is the article. Yeah. They're probably gonna have a protest. It's not surprising. Um, oh god! They're gonna go. Mr. Krabs is in there. Um, I forgot. Why is <laughs> they for the uncensored version of Ser- the Seriously though, the like fucking thing. like massive respect to TSA agents right now, like who are dealing with people's bullshit on a daily basis, and then also not getting paid directly for it. Like, thanks, thanks for like doing your job, even though you're not getting shit for it right now. And it's a lot more than just yeah. them that aren't getting paid. By the way, there's yeah, a lot like, of people. That... To everybody yeah, the government shut down. Like who's not getting paid and shit. Like. Like, aren't teachers do, not getting paid? Regardless, uh, I regardless don't know who's not guys, getting paid, but I know TSA is not. I know that... It's like, um, regardless of what you guys think about the government shutdown, whoever's working during it and not getting paid for it, massive props to you. I'm just, I hope you get paid. Yeah, because, like, you, usually the government jobs are, like, the most important, especially TSA. Like, that shit's really they're fucking very important. public necessity kind of meme. Yeah. And it's like, you know, if you're in a fucking flight somewhere and TSA goes on strike at the airport you're at... Um, you're fucked. Well, <laughs> you I mean, yeah, that's bad, leave. but imagine the air traffic controllers if they went on strike as well. <laughs> oh my god, oh. there was an article I saw where people were like, dude, we need to end this shutdown fast because, like, <laughs> it was in a certain airport, I forgot which one, but it was like, 20% of, like, the, the fucking air traffic control workers are eligible to retire. Jesus. In, in that airport? And they're like, we're already short on fucking air traffic control people, and now you're not paying them, and 20% of them are eligible to retire. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> so yeah, it's a uh, it's not a good good thing. It's definitely big bad. You know what also is big bad? Um, when you're a company and you tell people to buy your competition. Oh, uh, Microsoft. God. Yeah, so Microsoft um, is telling people to switch to iPhone or Android because they're killing off the Windows Phone. <laughs> I like the Windows Phone, like the concept of it, but like nobody wants one, so I never bought one. No, Windows phones are, dude. <laughs> there was like a Windows, a Windows phone, phone with like a point and shoot camera built into it, and I'm like, that's having really the cool. Windows phone. Having the Windows phone at any point in your life was like the equivalent of having a fucking Nokia flip phone or something like that, like in 2018. Like that is the equivalent. I like how you it's link such... it to Reddit. That links to the article. You fucking Reddit user. Hey, what can I say? I use Reddit. Also, the site doesn't have a fucking what you call it. Great, I lost my train of thought. I love I love being sick, sicko mode. It's great. Brandon's Jeez. gone full sicko mode. I don't know yeah. if, I don't know if it's I don't know if it's the air up here, but like I've been out of it this entire podcast. Really? Uh, I don't know what it is either. My I like the air up there. It's dry and clean and sometimes vaguely smells of weed. Well, I mean it's high up. It's really dry. It's, it's high real dry. Though. It's like listen, Diesel, I'm sitting in my fucking bed, my legs are under the covers, I'm really cozy, so like I'm in like sleep mode right now. 
but I can't sleep. I have to record the podcast. I mean, you're, we're almost as good, but you just need to stall for another, like, five minutes. God. <laughs> this is so sad. I want to go back. I hate you guys. You guys went to the mountain literally a day after I left. Fuck you. Sorry, Fuck Buster. You. Fuck you. We couldn't go in the snow. Fuck you. <laughs> I'll sorry. go by myself. I'll walk. I'll walk there. We we are we already thought we were gonna fucking die because like we were driving down from the highway and then this dude's fucking there was a trucker and like we we smelled like burning like something right and we're like oh that doesn't smell good we run out of the video we're like we're like oh my god is this our fucking car is our car on fire like is the brakes on fire mm-hmm. for going down hill and no it's this fucking truck and the back tires. Are literally on fire. Wow, that's hot. Literally, <laughs> so, that's, hot. Ah, yeah. that's hot. That's hot. It really was. We were just hot. glad it Look, wasn't our fucking if car. If I were driving, our wheels would have been burning because we would have been speeding, getting there real quick. Yeah, good luck on a fucking yeah, hybrid. Yeah, no, there was fucking ice all over the roads, Diesel. I don't know if you'd want to do that. I, I will be like and Tokyo like we were, Drift. We were on fucking cliff sides, retard. You never know. I, I, I do I'll know, my, I was fucking... I'll bring my Subi, it'll be great. Listen, Diesel, I do know, because I fucking saw the roads, I was there. <laughs> well, you know, I wasn't. <laughs> See, that's you. why I'm telling you, so you can get a picture of what I'm trying to share with you. You know what I'll do, I'll go on Google Maps right now, and I'll, I'll you know, <laughs> click my way up the mountain. Fucking street view. <laughs> the street view, it's basically the same thing, you know. Guys, I made it, I made it to the Guys, mountain. Guys, I'm here, I'm here. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, the pictures were nice, though. Uh, it was, I, I assume it was a good time. I hope you kids had a good time. Be safe. It was fun, yeah. We didn't do anything very extenuating, though. I think we ate lunch and walked around and... Oh, yeah, we played Pokemon Go. That was the best part. Oh, damn. Fuck you. It was a, it was a fun little village. It's just that, like, uh, we we didn't have, like, any fucking, like, uh, equipment to actually go or no snowboarding and or skiing. I mean, I know how slightly, Your but boy does it he ain't got legs. I haven't done it in so fucking long. Mm-hmm. So I can't ski; I can only snowboard. I heard skiing is really you hard. You snowboarding, so Lord Almighty! <laughs> I did it. I did it a while ago when I was younger. I mean, like it's it's one of those things that you don't really forget. I'd be like, I'm sure I'd be rusty at it, but mm-hmm. it's like it's like riding a bike. It's like riding a bike; you never forget. Yeah, I can't ski for shit though. That'd fucking be weird. I've wanted to learn. I haven't like. I don't know. I I woke up today and I just I just didn't do anything. <laughs> wow, same, lol. Jesus. Me. So yeah, Diesel. This is by far my favorite photo ever. Oh, that's a nice. Wow, one. the audience can definitely yeah. see this. They'll see it on Instagram eventually. Don't describe it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, it's as you can see, it's satanic. It's satanic. Oh my God, Brandon um, keeps calling me a, a satanist. There's a goat in the background. Guys. I think it's funny. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Did you guys know that he wears uh, Satanist merch? He wear he wears pentagrams from Hot Topic all the time. Okay, fuck yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, like I don't now buy they're gonna be like, yeah, at Hot Topic. To be honest, I, I mean, buy most of it well, on. I mean, it's like eBay. when you went there, like the jacket that you like were wearing for like the not like the hoodie, but like the outer jacket you wear over your hoodie, like that you would wear for most of the trip. That was the we found that in Hot Topic when we were looking for shit. Yes, we did. That's right. It is a decent jacket. I will give you that. There you go. I Satan has good merch. I do quite like it. I can't wait for him to start a YouTube channel. He are, he's, he's literally on Nerd City's channel, prick. Oh, shit. That's right. Oh, my God. I've been bamboozled again. Haha. <laughs> Two more minutes. Man, you know what's great? I love <laughs> trying to fucking <laughs> extend the podcast. And both of you just sit there and be it's fucking gotta quiet. It's going to be hour long. It's gotta be oh my long. god, you guys it are fucking awful. <laughs> we could just end it now. What am I supposed to do? Just keep fucking talking about useless bullshit? Um, we can this talk whole about podcast again. is useless bullshit. Fuck bro. you, no, this was different. This was just leaving me out in the dust to fucking finish this. And I didn't know where to start. Or like, I was just talking to myself. Okay, do you want me to bring something up, Diesel? Sure. All right. So I've heard through some really interesting sources, BuzzFeed, that uh, there's going to be laser sharks deployed in the oceans. Okay. U.S. laser sharks. So, what? What? Their mission is to find Atlantis. Okay, so this is bullshit. All right, you're just talking about Aquaman again? <laughs> no, no, I'm way. talking about laser sharks. That's an article that exists. If you show no, me that it's article, not. but like... No, it's totally not an article that exists. There's no such thing as laser sharks, Diesel. All right, we hit you. We hit the hour mark. Do the outro. 
No, we didn't, because we have to cut a bit out of the start, remember? Yes, I'm, not, I'm just going to put gonna oofs take, over it. The like... outro's going to take like 12 <laughs> seconds, who cares? Okay, fine. Uh, thank you for watching the My Name Jeff podcast. You can check us out down below at, at, at labmouse underscore on Twitter, Instagram, and everything else. Like SoundCloud down below as well, as well as Google Music. And subscribe, because I fucking told you to. Thank you for watching. Anybody have last words? I oh. hope this episode goes down as our absolute worst one, because it is. What? Who? I'd like to see someone okay. rate all the episodes. That'd be good. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be like, fucking hey, weird. Please, like, just, like, somebody make, like, a fucking Tumblr post or, like, a twit longer about, like, every episode of Lab Mass reviewed. <laughs> just, like, 1 through 65. It's shit. Okay, bye. All right, bye.